On June 5th, 2018, Spinosaurus Queen uploaded a video titled, The Vividend Disproved. I am now responding to that video in a civil yet comedic manner, because that's kind of what I do. In her video, she is critiquing Ultimate Battles T-Rex vs. Spinosaurus. Those of you on the Ultimate Battles Discord server will know that this is the video I myself criticize the most out of all of my uploads. Simply put, there's a lot of stuff that's outdated and incorrect. Spinosaurus Queen's first point is that I listed many positive attributes about Tyrannosaurus and many negative attributes at Spinosaurus. That is true. Much of this video and analysis was unbalanced and highly biased. I will not excuse that. Three years ago, I did fall into the fanboy category when it came to T-Rex. Not an awesome bro, though. Never, ever an awesome bro. Spinosaurus Queen does state, however, that Spinosaurus was the largest theropod that ever existed. That is, based on the evidence and specimens we have, very incorrect. The largest analyzed specimen, MSNM V4047, is actually referable to Sigil Mosasaurus, according to Art et al. 2018, and even that was estimated to top out at 7,500 kilograms. There are several theropods larger, including Gigantosaurus at between 6,800 and 8,200 kilograms, Carcodontosaurus at 8,500 kilograms or more, and Tyrannosaurus rex at 8,800 kilograms plus. She talked about the dietary habits of Spinosaurus as well, saying that the animal would have ventured onto land to hunt. This is likely true. We do have a Spinosaur tooth embedded in a pterosaur bone. However, the mass majority of its diet still likely consisted of aquatic animals, as it was chiefly adapted for hunting and moving in the water. Its skull and other bones were designed for a semi-aquatic lifestyle, but there's nothing saying it couldn't have occasionally moved on to land to hunt. The biggest issue with Spinosaurus Queen's argument is her assertion that there is no proof or evidence that Spinosaurus had short legs. Her reasoning is that people made up that version to make T-Rex seem stronger in comparison. Ibrahim 2014, Scott Hartman Skeletals, Hendrix 2016, and Arden 2018 all disagree, supporting a reduced highland proportion for the river predator. As for their motivations, they are professional paleontologists who do not care about which theropod would win the fight. She raises the point that T-Rex's arms were small, which is true, but scoffs at the idea that they could be strong because they were small, saying that evolution doesn't work that way. Conrad 2014 displays that they were quite powerful, and size has nothing to do with it. Neither T-Rex or Spinosaurus likely would have utilized their arms to great effect in a fight, however, as T-Rex's arms lacked reach, while Spinosaurus's body positioning wouldn't allow it to use a frontal attack. The whole UCMP-118-742 deal is bunk. All we have is a premaxilla, and since skull to body proportions in Tyrannosaurus vary so widely, it could have been anywhere from 11 to 13 meters long. Even then, I haven't found a real study that states it could have grown to the giant 15 meter estimate and put the video. Yes, T-Rex got much larger than Sue. I have a whole video establishing how the animal could push 10.5 metric tons according to Tyrannosaur experts. But that biostatistics rule applies to all theropods, not just T-Rex. That suggests a theoretical maximum Sigilmasasaurus mass of 9 tons, with Spinosaurus a bit beneath that. Tyrannosaurus Imperator is paleontological headcanon. And no, Spinosaurus Queen, Spinosaurus was not designed to kill Paralatitan. And that's about it. If you'd like, subscribe to my channel and to Spinosaurus Queen. Paleontology channels on YouTube need all the help they can get to grow, so go and check out her stuff. I'll see you next time.